quiet pile. So yes, as you can see here, the uh, WR1 is in the air. Hence why that massive gap. And the front um, front lip, front splitter is off. Um, really, really nice product. It's broken now, but it's off, going in the bin. Um, this came from, I think it's HT or HR Autos, and literally it's a quality product, honestly. Um, it's no fault of the products, but on the uh, STI model, these, these cars were an inch lower than a standard STI, and who knows how much lower they are than a WRX. But when it's on, obviously it's, you know, I don't know, it adds a good, good, you know, good couple of inches of height here, and literally it just had it on for, you know, about, about, about a year, and it just scuffed everything, so... You reverse off your driveway, it scuffs the driveway as you reverse out. You drive down the road, you see a little dip in the road, and you, obviously the wheels go in, scuff. Go over the speed humps, it scuffs every single angle. So it really, really looks epic. Um, but on a WR1 model, which they say is lower than standard, you know, um, it's not really worth it. So taking it off. And what I did is initially, actually, is it should be twice as thick as this. Um, it should actually have a curved part on the on the back, so I actually cut it in half down the, down the middle, hoping to get the extra you know inch clearance would help. But it definitely helped, but it's still scuffed in certain certain angles, certain positions. You know, I went to a car park the other day, up quite a steep incline, and then upwards like that, and it just scuffed as you went up. So um, it cracked, um, cracked it in half here. You know, because of course the extra would show the reduced um strength so i thought you know what i've gone on a ferry soon it's going to scuff there let's just take it off and bin it um i did keep the original middle part as well that came with it which is that black piece there so i thought you know what let's bolt that in for now as the bolt holes were there um stainless steel bolts took about two minutes and you know it might but once it's down on its axles you know it might give a slight enhancement but it's a shame i had to take it off but it's pointless it's just too it's, the car's just too low you know, if it's track you saw, you've got no speed dumps, a dead flat road, happy days. Um, also, it does other jobs on the car. So, I'm actually doing the mounts here um, for the rack and pinion steering. So that's one of the mounts there, and uh, there's one mount there and one mount here. So that's the square mount, and this is the more, sort of what I call the more rounded rounded mount here if you can see that so you have to disconnect it up at the steering which is obviously up here on the right hand drive car so you just have to remove the 12 mil oh let me try and get in there and show you which is just there i'm just marked it i can't really see but it's just above the two pink marks if you can see that oh there it was there sorry it's hard to see so i can't really see my phone very clearly um, I've marked um, using some nail varnish on the top top part of the picture in pink, so I knew that when I if I had to remove those U joints, um, these, these universal joints, I knew exactly where to get it back on, so the steering is exactly the same as it should be. Um, you know, so that's that. And then once you've done I've undone that twelve mil at the top there, you then remove um, these two bolts here, and these two bolts just on here, and then um, basically then. This side here comes down happy days, and then obviously you can get this piece here out easy. I've left it in there just for now, so I know which way the seal goes. That comes out easy, happy days. This one here, you have to lever it down ever so slightly with a sort of, you know, basic screwdriver, for example, just to leave it down a little bit, just so you can get the um, the seal out, because there's not much room. So getting a seal in might be a bit, definitely be more of a challenge on this side. Obviously, if you'd remove the oil lines, and you can drop the, you can drop this down, obviously, which, you can drop this down obviously as far as it wants to go super easy but obviously if you don't want to remove the oil lines you can only really drop it down at this sort of distance so there's not a great deal of room to get the seal in but we'll see when it arrives it's a power flex unit i've got 30 mil for this car um that should then reduce that tiny bit of play that i've been having on this on the steering i mean it could be this worn steering steering system on it of course as well the tire rods are new tire pressures are all good just a tiny bit of play which i thought probably was a steering rack or the um the bushes and the bushes themselves i don't know if i've also got one over there but um this is i had to rip it out basically but they are um they are sort of hard and quite deteriorated looking as well so having the new um polyurethane style power flex bushes in there will definitely help tighten it up so yeah, and they're about 35 quid for the pair of those delivered quickly from ICP. Or 30 quid if you don't want a quick delivery. Cool.
and that's the updates. So yeah, shame to see that go in the bin, but that's where it goes. Um, and the last thing I did was just um, replace the power steering washer underneath here. So it's just a 10 mil up to, I think it was 16 nm torque. Um, you literally just remove that, catch a little bit of oil that comes out of a rag and then slide the, slide the old seal off, new seal on, really easy, put it down in, torque it up, nice and so nice and nice and tight, but only, six, I think it was 16 nm in the book, so it's not that tight. Um, and then reconnect it, and obviously once the system's on, you probably just need to turn the steering wheel left, and then right a few times to sort of you know, bleed the air out of the system, and that's the reservoir um, just down there for it. So shouldn't be any, any difficulties for that aspect, and then make sure it's not leaking, of course. Cool. There you go, quick, really quick update. Nice one. Thanks all.